All right, kitties, we're going to take a look at a rare one today. This is my 1980 Ibanez AS400. It's a neck through a semi hollow. Strange, right? And uh, 1980, it's amazing condition. There's literally one mark on the guitar. It's got this a two inch long hair white scratch there. Uh, otherwise, the guitar is like perfect. Ebony board, nice shell inlays, brass nut. And the tuners are like insane, you know, they're like the day they were made. It's strange to see these tuners uh, in such uh, neat condition. It's pretty cool. I believe this is uh, mahogany stripes going through birch, strangely enough. Here's your gold your little jimmy switch split your pups let's take a look at the back I mean the back is like just totally perfect it's insane no this that or the other thing take a walk up the neck this neck strangely enough reminds me of the neck on the 1980 Ibanez AR5000 which is strange but it does Got this little sticker here from 1981, I think Vancouver, Canada. Here's your little serial number. And I got this guitar out of Ottawa, Canada. Check out those tuners. Crazy. Bright gold. Not a mark on them. So, if we follow this cord, it is plugged straight into the... Um, Fender Hot Rod Deluxe, it's a White Lightning Limited Edition. I don't know what's so limited about it. They made 800 of them. They don't sound too limited to me. Let's give it a whack. It's just plugged straight in there with kind of dirt sound on it. And I don't even know if the guitar is in the frame.
clean.